Hi Libra, this is your January 9th through January 15th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bet is a new love this week. We have the Nine of Swords, classified by the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups, classified by the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Star in the potential outcome. We have the Queen of Swords with Temperance and the Four of Swords. And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, you've got a surprise coming your way, Libra. Somebody is madly in love with you. All right, and I think uh, they will not be able to hold back anymore. You'll be, um, they'll be expressing themselves to you this week. It could be a brand new person. For some of you, perhaps you just recently met this person. All right, so we got the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this is a date or somebody approaching you. Right with that page of cups. And the page of cups to me personally is the nicest page out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult <laughs> the other three pages, but it's true. The page of cups, you know, uh, it's all about somebody being super nice to you, giving you compliments, sending you flowers, sending you postcards, <laughs> nice text messages, those uh, cute pictures with puppies and kittens, you know, that type of uh, stuff. Right? Uh, what's actually going on inside this person's head is. Uh, show it by the first two cards that came out. The Nine of Swords, classified by the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, all right? And it could be them waiting for the next time they see you, or perhaps you do have a date scheduled for uh, some day during the week and they're waiting for that. They could, or it could be them looking at their phone, waiting for you to reply back, to them or waiting for you to show up online or something like that, right? In the meantime, they're crying themselves to sleep with that Nine of Swords, that the Seven of Pentacles is clarifying, right? And all of this is because they're in love with you. That's that's what it feels like. The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who's stressed out, somebody who's got anxieties, right? And uh, all of this is because of that Ace of Cups, the next card that came out. The Ace of Cups is all about love, genuine, authentic love. That's what they have for you. You had them at hello. You know, they. I don't think they've ever fallen for anybody this hard. And uh, they're gonna tell you just that, with that Ace of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords is, a, is pretty much um, the truth, a confession. They're not gonna be lying to you. Everything this person says is gonna be the truth, especially if they tell you just just how much, just how deeply they are in love with you, right? The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. It's a very straightforward, very direct conversation. And um, in that conversation, they will be talking to you about that Ace of Cups. Yes. <laughs> um, the star in the middle could be um, an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the, the star is a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And uh, they will also tell you that, that you are their wish come true, all right? Speaking of you, uh, in the potential outcome we have the Queen of Swords with Temperance and the Four of Swords. I believe you are the Queen of Swords here, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Temperance right next to you, could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. But uh, I think together with the Four of Swords right next to it, both of those two cards talking about you taking a little bit of time to think about it. And there is nothing new about that, Libras do that, and there is nothing wrong with that. That's just the way you guys are, that's the way you operate. So yeah, you'll need time to think about it. Temperance um, is a card of patience, temperance is a card of balancing, Tem temperance is a card of when somebody says, you know, remain calm, that type of vibe. So yeah, you'll need, you know, to, I guess, sleep on it. <laughs> For some of you, literally, because the Four of Swords right next to the deck, I think that's you, perhaps sleeping on it, or you're just taking a little bit of time to wrap your head around this. Perhaps uh, you did not see this coming, they're just going to drop this on you and you'll be like, whoa, 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 so what just happened? So, but, but um, you know, I think this person genuinely loves you, Libra. <laughs> they really do. Alright, so it's going to be up to you how you want to move forward, how you want to proceed here. And uh, that's where I'm going to leave you at. Alright, but uh, anyway, really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. If you'd like to see the extended Libra, the link should be in the description box down below. In the extended, we'll look at the um, 
what's going to happen between you and this person if you do decide to move forward with them. All right, we'll uh, do a couple of spreads, maybe three spreads. We'll see how it plays out. We'll definitely take a look at what happens next, and uh, we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Libra, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the King of Wands, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So you see that couple, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, I don't think that's you, right? It's another couple, perhaps there is more people involved here because this is some kind of a get-together or some kind of a collaboration. Um, something new, perhaps you're all starting a book club, or you're all deciding to start... A skiing club or, or snowboarding club or something like that or you're all getting together and playing uh, board games right the, the monopoly or what have you the three pentacles the first card that came out is a card of collaboration right um, it's a group of people doing something together the nine of cups um, that card is a card of a wish come true it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment and in some tarot decks the nine of cups um, looks like a party there's literally a table with food and beverages on it right um, the will of fortune on the bottom of the deck is either a start of a new cycle if this is something brand new all of you are getting together and doing or with the will of fortune you're all going somewhere like I said you could be going skiing up into the mountains or perhaps you're going someplace warm on vacation and it's a group of people going all right so yeah a bunch of people doing something really cool <laughs> all right cool let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Libra this week keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago a year ago or a couple of years ago so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex also keep in mind we still have both Mars and Mercury in retrograde Mars will leave us will finally leave us alone on the 12th <laughs> but Mercury will still continue to bother us all right, this is when more X's than usual could resurface. We have Judgment, uh, we have the Four of Cups clarified by the Devil, we have the Three of Wands clarified by Justice, and we also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I'll keep this short, even shorter than usual, Libra. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody will make an attempt to get back into your good graces, but um, the answer is absolutely not. You made up your mind about this person a long time ago. You're not taking them back, period. All right, so yeah, Judgment is a card of Resurrection, somebody coming back from the past. The next card I came out is the Four of Cups. So this is a card of a rejection, okay? You're setting them, you're shutting them down. The Devil, clarifying the Four of Cups could be the person or the reason. The Devil is a Capricorn card, right? But at the same time, perhaps the Devil is just a very toxic individual, right? Perhaps they've got issues, they've got bad behavior, or something is just not acceptable to you anymore. The Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody who's grieving, regretting the past, that could be them, right? But you, you're done with this person, right? The Three of Wands, clarified by Justice, that is literally you. <laughs> Justice is your major arcana card, and the Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and uh, that decision was to never ever take this person back. So you're, you're sending them back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra, this week. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the King of Swords. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Page of Swords. And we also have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. i got to be honest with you. I don't know how many people this played out for. But uh, in this reading, Libra, Libra, as I'm connecting with, is quitting. You know? But at the same time, you feel good about it. Perhaps you have another job lined up. Um... Or something about this is making you feel really good about you quitting, but you're definitely leaving. All right, uh, the Ace of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords. You're the King of Swords, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. That is still you. And uh, the Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy. You see how the King of Swords is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. Right, so this is a decision for you to get out. The Eight of Cups right next to that um, Ace of Swords, this is you leaving. The Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that is also you leaving, but you're slamming the door on the way out so hard, the whole building will shake, right? And you feel good about it. The Six of Wands, the next card that came out, is a card of victory, success. This is a card of feeling good about what you're doing. The Page of Swords clarifying it, uh, I think this is um, your resignation letter. <laughs> Some people just leave pieces of paper on their desks when they leave. Perhaps that's what you'll do. Or you may send an email, I don't know. But uh, you are definitely 
out of there. And again, you feel good about it. I don't know what they did to you, perhaps, or didn't do for you, but uh, you're definitely done with this place. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Libra. We have the Ten of Swords, uh, we have the Queen of Wands, uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. Uh, in scenario number one, uh, perhaps this right here is related to the work, business, and finances spread. Right? If that's the case, then the Queen of Wands is the one who is offering you a job or offering you something. And that's why you're leaving that company or you're leaving that business partner. Right? The Ten of Swords, this is you shutting that down. This is you ab abruptly ending your employment with that other company or that business partner because the Queen of Wands is gonna you know extend you that knight of pentacles offer and the knight of pentacles is a very decent chunk of change all right very decent chunk of change and as a result of that you're leaving that company and you're celebrating the three of cups is a celebration right so yeah you will be really happy uh, with uh, with this offer and with this new job for others of you if it's not about a job then uh, the Queen of Wands is somebody you had a major, major fallout with. It could have been your friend, it could have been a family member, whoever, right? The Ten of Swords, this is you two severing ties at some point in the past. And now this Queen of Wands is coming back and they want to reestablish this connection, whatever the nature of this connection was. Perhaps they owe you money, <laughs> right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is the offer coming from this uh, Queen of Wands. Perhaps they know they messed up and they need to compensate you in some shape or form with that Knight of Pentacles. The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion in this case. This is what they want. It's also a card of a celebration, like I said earlier. And uh, in this case, it's going to be up to you what you want to do with this. Libra. Okay, but I think they mean business with that Knight of Pentacles. It's the most serious, stable Knight out of all four Knights. Alright, so that's what I have for you, Libra, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.